I want to give Ashwa Jubala Metinugu benefit of doubt that he will do the right thing. At 71, yes, age is not on his side. But then, he's not uh, doing um, uh, Olympics. He's going to appoint people, lieutenants. And I've said, what I'm looking at from tomorrow afternoon, I want to see his appointments. Are they, are they going to be filled with political jobbers? People lost elections and have to be compensated? Or people who can bring value, who can add value to governance? We do at least three tomorrow. Yeah, he it should, should do, it should <laughs> do the that. The media advisor, the, 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 SGF, and the, 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 the chief of staff. Chief of staff. No. It goes beyond that. So, so you think that... Are you sure we may have the SJF tomorrow? Hmm? Are you sure? We, we, we may no, have. No, because, uh, okay. uh, we, we may not. We, we may not have the SJF tomorrow, tomorrow. But the chief we, of staff, good. You know. But, but beyond, beyond the chief of staff and all, see, the last constitutional alteration have mandated that he has to form his cabinet within 60 days. Two months. Yeah, two months. Yeah. Likewise, the governors. So the luxury of time that President Buhari had in 2015... It's not going to be given to him. He has been to France, gone to Europe on two different occasions since he won election. And part of what we are told by his media handlers was that he was going to prepare for his inauguration. We want to see how prepared he is. He has said, as different for that he wants to hit the ground running. Whether he will hit the ground crawling or running or you know, oh, jumping. Dr. President Buhari we, want to, we, want, we will see I that. I hope he does in any ways. Uh, we, we, will, we will be seeing that from tomorrow.